Just over halfway through the first. Marcus Morris looking for driving room, reverses and scores. Marcus in the lane, it's 12 to seven. Stanley Johnson misses, Marcus taps it in. Marcus Morris now against Dinwiddie, fires over him, fills it up. Off iron, rebounded on the baseline by Marcus Morris. Rolls his way to the paint, turns, fires, fills it up. Nice. Little help from the rim. Unimpeded by Brooke Lopez, who hasn't scored in the game, but doing little things. Marcus Morris, who has scored, now has 10. Another shot. Marcus Morris has made another. Marcus with a dozen, he's six for 11. Well, court, much stronger than LeVert. Takes him to the lane, ball back on goes. 43 to 41. Now, Lynn's on Marcus. Clock at 10. He fires, he fills it up. George, before the game, I had a conversation with assistant coach Charles Class. You know what he told me? Watch out for Marcus. Marcus Morris fires and fills it. Marcus has now scored 18. Marcus with another small guy on him. And he takes advantage. Marcus Morris now with 20. The Pistons have converted them into 20 points. Marcus to the basket. Contact and a foul. It's on McDaniel. He may have made the paper all that success he had the first two games, didn't he? Yeah. Marcus Morris from distance. And he drains it. Pistons 80. Brooklyn 74. Marcus Morris shortens the shot, fires from the baseline, rattles it in. I like the decision. That's what I've been talking about all along. You don't have to take the three. They knock it away from Jeremy Lin. Marcus on the floor for it. 1.2 seconds left. And he does. That'll turn the lights out on the Nets.